Okay, so let's go now over the instrumentation amplifier. In terms of the topology, we can think of an output stage that is just a difference amplifier that we already analyzed in a previous video. So let's start with that. So we put together a difference amplifier that, as you recall, you can think of it as having a network the same as what you will do in the inverting amplifier. And then we have a voltage divider network at the no inverting input. Okay. And we're going to do this with the unit again. Remember this was R, R, and then we could amplify like A, R, and A times R. In this case, we are just going to have a unit again. And so the way to do that is that the resistor here in the feedback is R and the resistor here is R. And if you recall, the output of this, I'm going to call this VA and VP was A times VA minus VV. But we want to improve the input impedance, the common mode rejection ratio, etc. And so we could do that by, at the very minimum, we could put two buffers. But the, the design can actually be improved. This is quite ingenious. So the, not only you get um, something equivalent to having a buffer with very high input impedance, so we have an operational amplifier there. This is your V1 directly into the input of the operation amplifier, ideally infinity, even a 741 uh, in the mega ohm range. You feel a feedback now. R. We're using here our gain. I'm going to call this Rx or R gain. This could be potentiometer. The other input, we are also going to have an operation amplifier for V2 feedback and a resistor. All these resistors, all these R's, we want them to be match. So we can use precision resistors within 0.01%. And that improves the common mode rejection ratio. So let's go ahead and do this analysis. Let me label a couple of things. So this is VA. I'm going to call this voltage VX and therefore this current IX. So in order to do this analysis, we can think of the initial stage here that is going to be the difference amplifier. And then we have here buffers as well as actually amplifiers that are also good uh, because they do not amplify the common signal. So improve the common mode rejection ratio. So based on what we know already, V output is equal to VA minus VV, meaning it's going to amplify this difference. We could amplify with a gain if we put, scale this R with A and A, but we don't need to do that because we can set this up so that the only resistor that is going to control the gain of the amplifier is Rx, or Rg, you want to call it R gain. So what we need to do now is to figure out what is the voltage here and the voltage there. So what is Va equals to? Uh, Va is the voltage right here in this node. We know at least what the voltage is here, right? That's V1, 
because we have negative feedback. And so the inverting input, so if we have a path from the output back to the non-inverting input, the inverting input is going to be equal to the non-inverting input, meaning the output of the operation amplifier, the operation amplifier is going to modify the output in such a way that that happens, right? And so we know what the voltage is here. This is V1 right there. And so we are going to have, and we know the this current, Ix, is going through this network because the current entering the bias current is zero. Therefore, what do we have here? Our B output, Va, will be V1 plus Ix times R, right? plus this, Ix times R. Similarly, we have that VV the voltage right here, where we know what the voltage is here, that's V2, V2. So it's going to be V2 minus the voltage drop that we have the current all going through there, which is Ix, because the current entering into this op amp is also zero. So minus Ix times R. And so with that, we have the V output is equal to V1 minus V2. So I'm just plugging this in. Minus And actually plus, right, this, 2ix times r. So we have this r, ix times r, and this one minus minus makes a plus, and so we got it. Okay, that's fine, but all this is depending on this ix. So let's figure out what that ix is, and then plug it in. What is ix? Well, ix equals... We, if we know V1 and V2, so Ix is what? Vx over Rx. And that's equal to V1 minus V2 Rx. So with this, if we plug it back there, what do we get? We're going to get that the V output is equal to V1 minus V2 plus 2 times R over Rx V1 minus V2. Or that the output voltage is equal to 1 plus Two R divided by R X V one minus V two, and we arrive at the solution. Okay, so a couple of pointers. If you have all the R's match R's matched then you only need one resistor, Rx, to control the gain, okay? So, one, well, notes, Rx is the gain controlling resistor. Two, Remember, we need good R matching for high common mode rejection ratio. And three, what is the input impedance? Well, is the impedance of 
the amplifiers that we have here in the input stage. Okay, so very high input impedance, really infinity, practically is going to be more than, than a mega ohm. That's even if you just use a 741, you can use a very high input impedance at the front end. So this amplifier is used, um, very commonly used, in instrumentation applica uh, applications. Anytime that you have uh, some transducers in the front end, it's a very good pre-amplifier to amplify the differential signal of what you are picking and reject the common mode rejection ratio. So anytime that you have a very large common mode signal and you are interested in those differences, this is a very good amplifier. Thank you.